So, good morning. My name is uh, Jurian Ruis from the Landlife Company. Um, I'm very glad to be here, the guest at the ICBA uh, Institute. Um, we have found a, a very valuable partnership, and um, um, the uh, purpose of this uh, partnership is to uh, demonstrate the use of uh, the cocoon for planting trees um, in, um, in the Institute, which we do without ongoing irrigation. So the, the big vision of us is that uh, water is getting more and more scarce, of course, on this planet, and we need to find ways to plant trees, to bring back nature, to plant trees without the use of water. So what we have done is um, today um, brought our products, which is a biodegradable um, cocoon, and the product is um, carrying a little bit of water for the tree for the first year, year and a half. It has a lid which makes sure that all the water that's in the soil stays in the soil. It also makes sure that there's no um, competition with weeds for the small tree. And this shelter, as you can see, protects the tree from the wind, from the sun and from small animals. Now the way that the water goes to the tree is through those two wicks. It's almost like an oil lamp. The wicks, they provide the water in very small quantities every day about one cup to the tree which is in the middle of this donut shape uh, cocoon. So the tree will not die which is of course um, the, the cause of um, the mortality in the first year of young seedlings um, insufficient water. It will stay alive but it will not be um, getting lazy and dependent on the water that we give them. So the trees will still make long, deep and wide and fine roots to find nutrients and to find water in the soil. Today we will start the experiment, so it's, a, it's an exciting day for us. Um, we have um, um, 15 um, uh, cocoons and seedlings of three different species that we will plant today and in the course of the next uh, two weeks we will continue planting all the way till the end of, uh, of this 500 meter long road. So by the end there will be 300 um, um, seedlings of three different species. We are also planting control groups. Um, we have a couple of different um, applications. We will test the impact of biochar, we will test the impact of zeo plant material to both to improve the water retention in the soil and the biochar adds additional uh, nutrients. Now the, the, the way it works is as you can see we've already dug the holes um, yesterday night they were watered, so we start with a, um, a well moistured soil and we will put the seedlings in the middle of this hole and we'll put this cocoon over the seedling on the hole. We will add some um, soil enhancers to the seedling which is a mix of bacteria and fungi, we call them mycorrhiza, that form symbiosis relationships with the plants. So the seedling will be here in the middle the lid will go after we put the water in on top and then the shelter goes on top of the cocoon. Then we will put the sand back and in the end the only thing you will see are these shelters all the way down till the end of the road. Um, we will cover it up and then we will walk away and there is no maintenance required afterwards. So the trees will start to invest most of their energy in the roots and then when the roots are established the trees will grow and after the summer we can already see big differences between the control group and the trees that were planted with the cocoon. The species that we use are native indigenous trees to the Emirates. So um, a tree that consumes more water than what the environment here can provide will in the end always die unless you irrigate. So what we do is we prepare the tree for an independent life in nature which is only possible if you use trees that are native to this area. So you should think of acacia trees, the neem trees, um, the gaff trees. Uh, those kind of trees are, um, um, you can find them actually in the desert. There's not many, but you can still find those trees. And those are the ones that we will be, we will be planting here. And we know if we get them through the first one, two years, and they are sufficiently large and the roots have established, they will survive like any other natural tree in this uh, part of the world. Mm -hmm.